What is up everyone, my name is Exceptional and today I want to talk about something. I think we can all agree that Warzone is not in the best place right now. It feels like we've been in the same spot for so long we need to see some changes. One of the most important things is the meta right now and this is causing a lot of people to not enjoy Warzone at the moment. So in this video I want to show you what I think about the meta and how Infinity War should change it. And I would love for you guys to pitch in in the comment section. Let's start with the meta right now. The meta is basically 3 guns, and if you're not using them, you will be at a disadvantage. It is the Kilo, the MP5 and the R90. The Kilo is by far the best AR and nothing can compete. It has great damage, no recoil and great range. The MP5 has always been one of the best weapons and you will see them loads on Warzone. It has great mobility, range and damage. And the worst of all, the R90. I use it as well because I want to win, but it is not fun to fight against. So let's talk about all the weapon categories and I will tell you what I think should change to improve the meta. Let's start with the ARs. The only weapon that really should get a nerf is the Kilo. Not a big one but just a little. Nerf the range and give it a bit more recoil. That will put it in its place without destroying it, because that's very important. These next weapons should get buffed. It is the AK-47, the AN-94, the SCAR and the Odin. The AK should get a decrease in recoil if it wants to compete. The AN-94 just needs a little buff in damage, it handles fine but the lackluster DPS is just ruining the weapon. The SCAR should get an extra ammo option, just give it a 50 or 60 round option and it will see more time in Warzone. And the Odin should get a little decrease in recoil as well to give it a spot amongst the other ARs. The rest should be left alone. I know the FAMAS is a very bad weapon but I think it will be forever bad. If they make these changes, the Warzone AR meta will be very diverse, where there are multiple strong choices. Before we continue with the rest, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, it will help me out a lot, and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing as well. Let's continue with the SMGs. Let's start with the weapons that should get a buff. This will be the ISO and the Striker. The ISO is just lackluster in every way. Increase the fire rate a bit, and it could be a bit better. The Striker has potential, but compared to other SMGs, the Striker has a bit too much recoil. The next one should get nerfed, this will be the MP5 and the MP7. The MP5 should get another range nerf, I know it hurts, I love the MP5 but it is just too strong. The MP7 should also get a range nerf, if it does there will be much more room for other SMGs. The MP7 is the perfect secondary for a sniper and I just would love to see a bit more variety. The rest should be left alone. Let's talk about the LMGs. The LMGs that should get a buff are the Holger, the MG34 and the M91. All three of these are just so inferior to the Bruin and the PKM, and I don't want to see those get nerfed. I would just love Infinity War to find a way to make these three a bit more viable. The rest of the LMGs are all decent and they can compete. And now the shotguns. The next two weapons should get a nerf. These are the R90 and the Origin. The R90 should get three nerfs. Decrease the range, decrease the damage and delete the fucking Dragon Breath rounds. They add nothing positive to the Warzone experience. The Origin is a weird one, because if you nerf the R90, the Origin will just take its spot. So just decrease the range a little bit and it will be fine. They should buff the Model 680. If they increase the fire rate a bit, it could actually be very strong. You rarely can get a one shot kill because you need to be point blank range and hit a headshot. So just up the fire rate a bit and it could definitely do some work in Warzone. The rest of the shotguns are fine and have a spot somewhere in Warzone. I do not have any suggestions about the snipers, the marksman rifles and pistols. The snipers all have a purpose and a playstyle they shine in. The marksman rifles are mostly all shit except for the car and the SBR. The rest are just very underwhelming but I don't think they are changeable to make them decent enough. And pistols all have some sort of a spot, mostly just akimbo secondaries, none of them are bad and none of them are overpowered. If they could just make these changes, you will get a very balanced and wide meta. You will have multiple ARs that can compete with each other, the SMGs will have more balance and they can fight out the number one SMG spot, also the shotguns will have a lot more trouble against SMGs from very close but they will definitely dominate the point blank range. LMGs are mostly decent and they will be able to compete with ARs. I would love to hear your comments on what you think about the changes, because we all know this Warzone meta just ain't it. And I'm not saying this because I'm salty, I use them as well because I want to win. But just finding the same weapons over and over is just not fun. These are my thoughts, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.